very good afternoon my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is, this is salah speaking so before we start this live trading video i wanted to share with you something very interesting and funny actually this here this uh, channel i found uh, which calling themselves uh, trading confluence actually they have a very interesting content and i wanted to share with you their content so let's watch their recent uploaded weekly forex analysis and let's see together what kind of uh, analysis they are showing here we go before we start the technical analysis fundamental analysis meaning we need to look at the events that are waiting for us what actually might uh, move the currency what are the announcements and events that might affect the market and mainly affect the currency such such as the yeah what an ugly voice oh come on that's not me <laughs> as you can see i also have commented come on man my voice sounds very ugly here i that's my complaint actually because my, he, he really tweaked my voice and he changed uh, the way it sounds so as you can see at least at least i believe the pound usd is gonna continue the fall all the way to create a support number two because support number two so as you can see my friends yes this uh, channel has just stolen my video and they posted it on their on their channel and they are of course uh, taking the credit of my hard work however please don't forget to report this channel by clicking on this uh, three buttons right here or three dots and click on report and you can select this one here uh, spam or misleading and you can just uh, select scam or fraud and that's it click next report and you'll be you're good to go just like that thanks for reporting and yes of course by the way not only the videos of my channel they are stealing they are also stealing sometimes our forex signals uh, we recently have got one channel they were selling our signals and they were just copy our signals as they are literally taking this picture uh, with the extreme trader logo on it and they are just sending the signal to their uh, clients and just pretending it is theirs we recently have caught the guy and we removed him from the group now i'm encouraging everyone to please don't buy or sell or, or pay money for those copiers because what they are doing they are just taking our signals and thankfully we will be able to catch them and after that what are you going to do what signals are you expecting to receive after uh, if the signal provider himself got banned from our group he cannot send you anymore our signals and you will be end you will end up by losing your money and losing your time and so on him he have lost his reputation and he didn't have any reputation at all he just lost his clients as well because he don't have any more signals to send because we kicked him out from the group so always be sure that you are going to extreme trader forex signals themselves under the website extreme-trader.com and paying for the signals the original uh, source of the signals don't fall to these scammers don't fall to these thieves and of course today also we had really good results as we can see pound usd has went in total of 60 pips of profit euro and zd we had to close it with 35 pips of loss but we recovered some of it with, with the cat gpy making 20 pips of profit so let's right now talk uh, about the uh, live trading session and yeah before that also i wanted to share that uh, my weekly analysis is going really very well as you can see euro usd has triggered has been triggered and is going in total of uh, 78 pips of profit uh, pound usd was going in total of 100 pips of profit and right now uh, 77 pips of profit AUD usd has also been triggered and going in fifth uh, sorry almost 50 pips of profit usd cad also triggered and going in 51 pips of profit meanwhile uh, the gold and usd gpy haven't been triggered along with the usd chf so everything is going well and you we are doing so uh, good so far and i'm happy with the results now let's go to the weekly analysis sorry analysis. let's go to the live trading session itself now Today, actually, I'm planning to do some live trading using the Pound NZD alone. Pound NZD. Because this pair is actually very profitable. And I, actually, a small reversal is more than enough to give me the profit that I'm seeking per day. If you're a day trader, you can just focus on 20 pips to, uh, to, to, to get it from the Pound NZD. Look at that. I mean, all I wanted actually is the candle to reverse from that resistance and hit that previous support right here and look how many pips it can give me 
it can give me exactly 20 pips. So all I need is actually a small candle to reach this level and just fall down like that only to hit that uh, 20 pips and then I can cancel the trade with the profit. So Pound and ZD is actually a very interesting pair and it's very profitable. Uh, of course, uh, as it's very profitable, it's also very risky. You have to be very careful when you are trading actually not only the Pound and ZD, you have to be very careful and wise uh, when, while you are trading all in general. So let's see what kind of setups waiting for us on the Pound and ZD. Now, of course, if we go to the four hour time frame, what we can see right here in general that we are right now on a support level so we are right here on a support zone that's a support zone we are inside it right now so therefore we can see that the pair is rising up so we need to focus on buy that being said let's go to the 15 minute time frame now on the 15 minute time frame what we can notice right here is that the bullish momentum is very strong on the pound NZD and we can expect right now that the pair actually might make a, uh, a pullback after hitting that resistance level. So actually that pullback might, uh, or actually that the pullback I'm waiting for to give me some profit because I'm going to wait for the pair to touch that resistance and then I'm going to short it. And after that, I'm going to wait for the pullback to complete after retesting that resistance and then it's going to continue the rise. And here also I'm going to buy. So what is this confusion seller you just said right now we need to look for the buy order then you are telling me to start shorting what's the story here why you are confusing us the thing is i'm not confusing anyone the thing is we need to always have a plan to be able to read how these mark how these candles are moving so we need to understand that we are having right here uh, uh, two attempts already of a resistance. Usually, I don't trust the, sec uh, the third attempt. However, I believe we can trust it right now because we have right here a previous resistance. That resistance must be uh, retested. Therefore, I believe that after the market hit that resistance level, it's gonna make a pullback. It's gonna retest the broken resistance, and then it's gonna continue the rise. Now the question is, what if? the first setup has failed look at that it's already reversing by the way so let's say if the candle did not reverse right here and it just continued the rise you must have a plan b you must have a plan b to support you in case the candle has started to went against you so setting a stop loss is not really uh trading friendly because it's actually let me tell you the stop loss can be used only to stop the bleeding of your account but setting the stop loss very close to your trade or to your entry is the wrong idea however we need to understand more how this market works so if the market is actually going to make the breakout here the bullish breakout candle and my trade is going to be in loss where is my next opportunity to reversal it's actually going to be on the next resistance right here so we can expect from the market to rise a little bit more to hit, to hit that resistance and then that resistance is gonna reverse and pull back so that is that broken resistance right here is also gonna be retested that's gonna be our chance to fix this trade by uh, <coughs> setting by selling again right here at that at next resistance and then cancel the trade or sorry close the trade with the profit or if you want don't open another trade don't open another trade you can simply just wait for the candle to hit that level and then reverse so you can close your trade right here with the break even so you will not actually lose any money that's the plan and again uh, if the candle as i said is gonna fall right here and i told you that i'm gonna place a buy order so if i place right here a buy order and the trade is gonna fail and maybe the candle will go against me so do i have a plan b of course yes i have a plan b the plan b is gonna be right here right here exactly at that strong key support level if the candle is gonna continue the fall against me i can expect from the market to reverse at that support level and then to start bounces and i can just wait for the candle to reverse and then close my trade with the break even or you can just wait for the trade to be in profit it's really up to you so my whole idea here is always have a plan b to cover you if in case the trade will go against you so we already have a plan b for both uh, buy orders and the short we already have a plan b as i told you so let me just write it down to make it easier for you 
this is plan B. Oh shit, sorry. Uh, okay, let's make it like that. So this is my plan B. Uh, okay, my plan B cell. And right here, my plan B buy. So the idea is I'm gonna start shorting the pound in sorry the pound yeah the pound in ZD if it reaches that resistance and this is my plan B for the another sell and I'm going to buy the pound in ZD if it reaches its uh, previous resistance and here is my plan B if in case the trade is gonna go against me so let's now wait for either one of these two setups to be triggered and then I'm gonna be uh, entering the trade right front of you. So let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once I open the trade. So as we can see the candle has almost reached there and I'm going to place the sell order. Actually I'm a little bit late. Um, let me tell you that I have actually lowered this line because the way I have drawn this resistance line was not the right way. It should be actually like this because as I told you we are having here a resistance and the candle here is touching the shortest wick uh, in this resistance uh, pattern however we can see that the candle has almost reached there and sadly I have missed uh, the perfect entry by oh, that's a lot yeah almost nine pips which is really a lot therefore we might need to change the take profit level anyway uh, we can see that the candle is still rising a little bit against me however that's totally fine I'm prepared for the plan B and let's just set now the take profit number one perfect look at that look at that perfect if the candle is gonna reach down to that previous resistance that's gonna be exactly almost 20 pips 19.6 which is almost tw uh, 20 pips and that's gonna be perfectly fine so as i said today we are going to focus on the pound and the d therefore let's now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what we're gonna happen with this trade and we're gonna open the trade after it Okay, so as we can see, the trade is going in profit, and finally the account is above $1,000 uh, on Monday, which is really good. However, we need to adjust something here. Um, where is my pen tool? Okay, as we can see, this one here, look at that. Uh, I have adjusted this line here. Uh, so we can see right here, what's wrong? The pen is not drawing. Uh, let me close it and open it again. okay so as you can see that resistance right here uh, look at the bullish breakout candle the bullish breakout candle uh, has just been followed by this small wick right here so therefore i believe that the candle actually might reverse after hitting the same level of that previous wick therefore we will have to adjust the take profit level to be exactly right there and the account is 1016 dollars and i'm not a greedy person that's enough that's fine that's fine. So we have gotten with about 16 pips of profit, which is fine. Now, uh, it's a matter of time of when is going to be the next reversal. Now, let me tell you something. Earlier, when we started this video, I was planning to start the buy order right here because I thought that the pair is going to reverse uh, after the pullback. However, what we can see right here that the price action, the price action here, that price action tells me that the pair most likely is gonna continue fall more. However, it's just an indicator. It's just uh, my instinct, and uh, therefore I I had to close the trade with the with the profit. And I'm not gonna place the buy order right here at all because, as I said, this price action seems it's a bearish reversal, and it means that the pair most likely is gonna continue fall more. So. My next opportunity is gonna be uh, to buy the pound in ZD. It's gonna be when the pair fall down right here, not right here, right here. So we can have a perfect match on the resistance and the support. So my next opportunity is gonna be when the pair is actually gonna continue the fall right here and it confirmed that this uh, retest for all the retest on that resistance is not gonna work and that pair is gonna reverse exactly after hitting support number one creating support number two so i think that's gonna be a better idea let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you once i open the next trade 
Okay, so let's review what's going on so far. <clears throat> As I told you, the bear has reversed and made the break out from that resistance right here. So now I'm getting ready for my plan B, which is right here. We're going to short the pair once the candle actually going to reach this level, because right here we have a resistance number one, and I'm going to place my sell order on a resistance number two. Therefore, let me just set my, my uh, level. It's exactly like that. And yes, we are going to now wait for the candle to reach this level and then we will place the sell. Let's see until when we can keep the trade running. Perfectly fine. That's another 20 pips. And as we can see, if I have placed my trade right here on the sell and we are having right here another support level, that means the market actually might reverse on that resistance and make a pullback on that support that support is going to be respected and again the candle is going to continue the rise that is exactly what we are doing here we are trading these pullbacks and therefore i'm going to wait for the candle to rise a little bit more and then i'm going to place the sell order so let me know again again please pause the recording and i'll be back to you once the candle touch that resistance and i'm going to place the sell all right so let's see what's, go what's going on right now and i believe i'm going to place the buy order in a few seconds so let me just tell you what happened but before that maybe i need to place the buy order and i think yes that's that's perfectly fine i'm gonna place the buy order right here so let's go on and see what's happening now what happened here is we had a previous support here as i, as I told you before right because uh, i was talking about that resistance and i'm planning to place the tech profit here at the support however what happened is that the market has reversed exactly at that support level and now has performed a new resistance. However, since we are on the four hour chart on a resistance uh, on a support zone, and as we can see, uh, the bullish momentum is actually stronger than the bearish. And uh, look at that. We can see here that we had only one red candle and another here red candle. So I'm expecting right here also another red candle after the retest of that broken resistance. That's the reason I had to place the buy order right here. And if we look carefully, we can see that right here, exactly right here, that is the nearest wick here to the bullish breakout candle. That means most likely that's, uh, that's the level where the candle is actually gonna make the bullish reversal and continue the rise. And look at that, it's already reversing, already going in profit. So let me just tell you something here. Let's assume that this trade is gonna be in loss. And that is, of course, a possibility. There is no way that we can win all of our trades. So uh, my plan B is going to be right here at, at that previous support level. So let's say in case I have, because I have placed my trade right here at that previous resistance, if, the, if this trade is going to go against me and going to be in loss, should I be panic? Absolutely not. What will going to happen is I'm going to set this one, this previous support right here, because as we can see, we had here the resistance and that is the bullish breakout candle from that resistance. And what we have right here is a support, <clears throat> a support number one. So if this trade going to go against me and seems like it's not going to go, it's, it's not okay, good. It's going to continue the rise. However, if, if, if this trade going to go against me, it's going to go right here down to create the support number two. And then I'm going to place the buy order anyway. Uh, the bullish momentum is as strong as I told you and seems like the candle let me delete all of that seems like the candle is going to continue the rise until it hit that previous resistance level right here therefore that's going to be my take profit level so let me just uh, set it like that 28 pips we can expect from this trade however I want to stick to my strategy and I'm not a greedy person Therefore, let me see right now the trade is going in 13 pips of profit. Let's just make it 20 pips so we can be stuck uh, stick to the strategy. That is 22 pips. 20 pips. That's fine. So already the account in $1,071 of profit, uh, $62 profit we have made from this trade. Um, and please keep in mind that I'm trading only the pound and ZD, not any other pair. I believe this is very profitable uh, pair. And I really recommend you guys to use this tra this uh, pair. Uh, if you are going, go if you are planning to do some scalping the whole day, really stick to the pound and ZD is very profitable. And look at that. The trade is rising more and more. And I'm going to close it right now manually in profit, leaving me with $90 of profit, which is fantastic and more than great and more than enough. 
let me tell you actually uh, the video for you is 20 minute length however it is actually more than two hours for me and I'm getting tired of recording it and uh, then I think uh, that's gonna be it for the pound and ZD today we have made more than hundred dollars uh, trading the or scalping the pound and ZD and <clears throat> I believe you guys have learned more about how to understand these candles how they are moving when you are placing the trade how uh, what do what should you do what should you expect if the trade is gonna go against you where is gonna be your plan B to recover the trade if it goes in loss so I believe this was an educational video even so we had we opened only two trades I know it's embarrassing however still I believe it's very informative and very educative so in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching